Hey guys! What seemed like science fiction not so long ago is already being widely used in everyday life. 3D printing has come to the aid of our furry friends. What exactly is 3D printing? In short, 3D printing is a technique for manufacturing three-dimensional products based on digital models. But how has this technology made life easier for many animals? We'll tell you all about the most interesting cases in today's episode. This story is about a small dog with a congenital pathology. The Chihuahua puppy, later named Turbo Roo, was born without front legs. It seemed that the puppy's only fate was to be put down. However, the owners decided to give the puppy a chance for a happy life, leaving it at the shelter, hoping that the dog will find its caring owners. And fortune did smile upon the little creature. Ashley Looper, a vet from Indianapolis, instantly fell in love with the puppy. She took it home and tried to create a set of wheels out of plastic pipes and parts of a toy tractor. After hearing about the dog's problem on the news, Mark Dedrick, the director of a 3D printing company in San Diego, decided to help the dog by creating a three-dimensional mobility cart, customized to fit the dog's parameters. They ended up creating 10 mobile 3D structures, which were replaced as the dog grew older. This chain of lucky events resulted in the puppy's ability to finally move at high speed, which is how it got its name. You will now get to watch a story about a cat from Russia called Dimka, who got severe frostbite. The cat was brought to the Novosibirsk vet clinic in October 2018. Seeing that its limbs had suffered from severe frostbite, the vets made a decision to amputate its legs and tail. Dimka could only move by crawling and had a poor appetite. Animals in such condition are often euthanized. But Dr. Sergei Gorshkov decided that it was possible to install a bionic prosthesis. The new legs were digitally modeled and 3D printed from titanium. The unique porous structure of the construction made it possible to achieve maximum osseointegration, the fusion of the animal's bone with the titanium prosthesis. To prevent graft rejection, it was also covered with a special calcium phosphate-based biocoating, which had been developed by the scientists from the Tomsk Polytechnic University. This biocoating made the implant look like a bone, so as to reduce the chance of rejection to a minimum. The prostheses were implanted into the bones of the front and hind legs. They also attached small paws made of flexible plastic, which can be changed as necessary. Seven months later, the prostheses were completely engrafted. Incredibly, Dimka has returned to the typical cat routine. It plays, runs, walks up the stairs, and is able to jump onto any surface. The Amputee Duck Buttercup is the name of a duck from the Tennessee Waterfowl Sanctuary. It was born with a left foot turned backwards. Neither physiotherapy nor alternative treatment methods were effective, and the pathology caused the bird much pain, which is why the foot was partially amputated. To make Buttercup's life easier, the staff at the sanctuary attempted to make a wooden prosthesis, but it turned out uncomfortable and heavy for the duck. Then, volunteers turned to Novacopy, a company specialized in 3D printing. The duck was given a silicone prosthesis, an exact copy of the lost foot. Actually, it is Buttercup's sister's left foot that was taken as the sample for the 3D model. The duck with a prosthesis has become popular on social networks. It has its own Facebook page and numerous subscribers who are closely following the unique bird's life. Several variants of 3D prostheses have been developed for Buttercup, for swimming, waddling on the ground, and even a special Christmas holiday model. When a Thai elephant, Masha, was seven months old, it accidentally stepped on a landmine in the northern part of the country. It lost its front leg in the accident. To give the animal a chance at a normal life, a group of enthusiasts from the Thai Elephant Rescue Center, the Asian Elephant Foundation, turned to Thailand's famous surgeon, Terchai Jivakate, who practiced 3D printing to create prosthesis for humans. The doctor didn't turn them away and agreed to help the animal in need, so he started working on an artificial limb. As Masha grew, 
Nine surgeries were performed on the rest of the leg over the course of nine years, and the prosthesis was improved too. As a result of the surgeon's work and the animal rescue organization's care, Moshe became the first element to ever receive an artificial leg. The prosthesis weighs 15 kilograms. It is durable, but not too heavy for the animal at the same time. The limb is made of a steel frame by means of 3D printing using thermoplastic and elastomer. This majestic, beautiful toucan bird with a powerful beak was attacked by teenage hooligans in Latin America. Having lost the upper part of an important organ, the beak, which toucans use to get food and to groom their feathers, the bird couldn't survive. When the animal rights activists discovered the crippled bird, they decided to raise money to make a 3D prosthesis for it. Naming the toucan Grecia, the activists posted a call for help on the Indiegogo crowdfunding site. The bird's misfortune touched people so much that the project raised more than $10,000 in two days. The upper beak prosthesis for the toucan had to be lightweight but strong as the bird would continue to grow. Therefore, it was decided to manufacture an artificial beak consisting of two parts. The inner part could be removed for disinfection and the upper half could be replaced as Grecia grew. The toucan's beak is also a distinctive sign for attracting females. Therefore, having the possibility of applying a different bright color to its beak can be viewed as a bonus of having a prosthetic and will help Grecia procreate. The horse with damaged hooves. Holly, a white mare from Australia, suffered from a terrible disease, laminitis, that affects animals' hooves due to insignificant blood supply. The swelling inside the hoof caused by the disease was pressing against the soft tissues of the legs. Unbearable pain tormented the animal not only while walking, but also while standing in the stall. Veterinarian Luke Wellsmith volunteered to relieve Holly's suffering. To do this, he turned to Australia's National Science Agency in Sydney. The center specialists were able to 3D print titanium horseshoes that would redistribute the weight equally on the hooves. It eased the animal's pain so much that Holly was able to walk and even gallop again. Sometimes the fight for animal salvation takes an unexpected turn. Damien Vergnaud, the director of South Africa's Inverdurn Game Reserve, suggested stripping rhinos of their main adornment. The reason for this seemingly strange initiative was the high mortality rate of the already endangered white rhinos that are widely killed by poachers. For the sake of the animal's safety, it's necessary to get rid of the main reason why poachers kill rhinos, their valuable horns, which are the main cause of the unfortunate animal's suffering. But what about the rhinos themselves? How will they function when deprived of their main means of protection? A suggestion had been made to replace the horns with 3D printed prosthesis made of aluminum and plastic fully functional and useless to anyone but the rhinos. This idea has already been tested, and the director hopes that the greedy poachers will leave his animals alone. A tortoise without a shell. Brazilian tortoise Freddy suffered from a terrible fire. The exposure to high temperatures made his shell crack and crumble. The tortoise had zero chance of survival without her usual house. However, an animal rescue group called the Animal Avengers, which has surgeons on their team, who decided to save the reptile and created a three-dimensional model of its shell. To do this, thousands of pictures of Freddy and other tortoises were used. It was necessary to create a prosthesis customized to the individual size of the injured animal, taking into account its specific features. The frame structure was manufactured with the help of a 3D printer, and then the designers added the required volume also by means of printing technology, using lightweight but durable composite materials. The unique shell was initially white, but after an artist had worked on it, it acquired a natural look. Looking at Freddy, it's hard to guess what it has been through. Well, that's all for today, guys. Did you like today's episode? Let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.